The theory of island biogeography explains the concept of species richness, or the number of species on a particular island. For this concept, an island is any ecosystem that is drastically different from its surrounding ecosystems. For example, an oasis in a desert is an island, an alpine zone is an island, even a pond is an island. MacArthur and Wilson first published the theory based on a study about Pacific birds. They found that large islands such as Sumatra, Borneo, and Papua had about 700 different species of birds present, whereas tiny islands like Christmas Island only had about 10. MacArthur and Wilson labeled Papua as the mainland of their study, and they found that islands closer to Papua had greater species richness than islands further away. There are several factors that influence species richness. The first is immigration, which is represented by the number of species that migrate to an island. The second is extinction. These species don't necessarily die out, but may be forced off the island due to competition. These rates can be modeled on a graph to determine the species richness of the island. The intersection of the number of species incoming and the number of species leaving the island is called the equilibrium. The equilibrium quantity indicates the species richness of the island. Geographic features such as island size and island location affect immigration and extinction rates, and thus the species richness of islands. Let's start with small islands. Small islands have low immigration rates because the small area of the island means that migrating species are less likely to arrive on the island. The small immigration rate also means that small islands have high extinction rates because species that have been driven off the island will be less likely to re-migrate. Conversely, large islands have high immigration rates because the greater area makes it more likely that migrating species will arrive there and take up residence. The extinction rates of large islands are low since species that are driven off the island are more likely to re-migrate. This means that large islands have higher species richness than small islands. The second variable affecting species richness is the relative distance from similar ecosystems. Islands close to the mainland have high immigration rates because the shorter distance makes it more likely that species will be able to migrate to that island. As with large islands, the high immigration rate means a low extinction rate. Islands which are far from the mainland have low immigration rates because the greater distance makes it less likely that immigrating species will reach the island. Due to the low immigration rate, remote islands also have high extinction rates. Island biogeography is important in conservation biology, since nature reserves and national parks can be classified as islands. Through the application of the theory of island biogeography, we can approximate the number of species saved by a particular reserve, the extinction rate for a single species, and the optimal geometric structure of a reserve. It aids in the development of wildlife corridors, which allows for the movement of animals between habitats and thus increases the number of species supported by an area.